Hey all, this is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. I'm gonna show you how I clean my hang on back filters on my 240 gallon tanks. We'll do one of them, because do one is just like the other. So here we go. All right, here's my hang on back filter. So the first thing I do is stick my arm in there and take off the pre-filter Got those and look at all that that's all uh hornwort that gets stuck in it uh, and then i drop that in a bucket of tank water and i don't really worry about it it's just convenient because i'm not too worried about the beneficial bacteria there is so much beneficial bacteria in this tank on all the live plants on this big chunk of wood in the substrate not worried about a little bacteria that's going to be on my filter so then i put that uh that pre-filter back on. It's just one of those sponge filters I got from Aquarium Co-op. And then I take a net. You know, if we had two Perrys, we could put a net between them and play platypult badminton. Who's a net? Ferb, that's it. I know what we're gonna do today. No, seriously, who's a net? And I stick that under, um, under the lip of this filter. And what I'm gonna have to do is move the light forward first. So it kind of balances there. Let's see if that'll do it. That's pretty close. So, yeah, this is all. Oh, and there's my finger. Isn't that great? There we go. Trained professional here. All right, so then I'll pull this section out. It just squeezes together. All right, up it comes. And before I put the sponge filter, the pre-filter on there, I'll let it drain a little bit. I used to get loads of shrimp in the tank. So I put the net there to catch all the bigger stuff that comes through. And I'll just let that sit there and it'll kind of balance and it'll catch most of everything I want it to catch. And maybe sometimes I might want to just put something heavy on top of that. And the best thing I can come up with right now might be this empty aquarium co-op branch room can. I don't know if you saw my, uh, uh, well, I had a couple uh, branch room videos. So anyway, that's, that's holding it there. And so then same thing in the bucket, I just, uh, Rinse out this, these, whatever they're called, these ceramic pellets that came with the filter. All right. And the filter rack that came with the filter, or the filter component rack. And here's the sponge. So, depending on how bad it is, I might take it into the sink and rinse it out there. And it seems to be okay, so I'm going to let it go. And we'll put this up top here. And I'll set the bio balls in it, or whatever they're called, the ceramic uh, bio media. I guess that's probably as good as anything. Set the sponge on top of it, push this thing in, and this is where two hands comes in really handy. And just kind of roll it around because that's what's going on right here. Let me see if I can sneak, sneak this in um, without dropping the phone in the fish tank. I wonder if anybody's ever done that one before. Now, that would suck. I just bought this phone and I was trying to, uh, here we go. Let me change hands here. I was trying to put a video up on Camtasia and, and this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And every time I pull the videos into Camtasia, Camtasia would crash. So now it's in there. So let's see what comes out of this. This one wasn't too bad, but you can see it picked up a lot of the crap that sits in the, the bottom of the filter. All right. So yeah. So anyway, uh, the Camtasia kept crashing. So I think I found a setting in my iPhone. Hopefully that'll, that'll stop that. It's under, under camera and it's a, one of the HDR settings. You got to take the HDR off. We'll see if it works with this video. So anyway, I'll catch you all on the rebound. And, uh, as always, uh, like comment, share, I guess uh, commenting helps the algorithm so, you know, the channel can grow. I keep hearing that from other people, so that would be good for me too, if you would. All right, so that's how I do the hang-on back filters. It's how I do the hang-on back filters. I know lots of other people do them their way, and I would never tell you my way's right. My way's my way, and your way is your way. But maybe you get something out of this. And in the meantime, um, if you have any questions, comments, or smart-ass remarks, shoot them to me. Talk to y'all.